Morning. This is Arnie Waters at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Look for gold to go up another 30 or $40 this week, if not more, as uncertainty about the U.S. debt ceiling continues to have a corrosive effect on many other markets. Look for gold to be the anchor of safe haven, safe haven buying as usual. Look for rare earths to continue their upward climb. We saw a lot of people back in the rare earth market last week. We're looking for trading to be uh, quite uh, large in volume, and we're looking for prices to go up uh, in terms of the stocks that we already hold. If you'd like today's specific rare earth trading ideas, please contact me directly on 781-380-8888. Or do something really intelligent and talk to the head of trading, Al Vickery. Same number, 781-380-8888. Now, one of the reasons we've been speaking of China of late is that we are expecting the Chinese to have some great difficulties over the next while. And these difficulties are already coming to the surface. Now, Office 666, of which we have spoken, the heads of the state, the state security apparatus in China, are really expert at uh, destroying large demonstrations. But they've had a lot of difficulties with uh, incidents on a more local scale that pop up on short notice. Uh, most of the incidents that have come to light really have been more focused on local grievances, cases where, for instance, the, uh, uh, the local uh, Communist Party leadership has allowed uh, developers to take over people's land, it caused a guy to set a motel on fire, set off some big, big uh, disruptions. Um, <clears throat> indeed, according to reports available, the last year available, and remember these are government numbers, uh, coming out since 2008, okay, last numbers are from 2008, is there were 127,000 so-called mass group incidents. Um, and again, we're not talking about the gigantic incidents for which the 666 is so well equipped. We're talking of smaller local events like the one I referred to. There was another couple of incidents where people got run over by the ruling class uh, Han uh, Chinese people. So uh, indeed, what happened, these protests become, became so widespread that the Chinese government had to effectively close down the province of Jin Jiang. I'm not sure I'm saying that, Jin Jiang. Uh, and that had the effect of closing down a state, a province the size, three times the size of California. The other issues which we're going to deal with later on, of course, is we're going to talk about the aging Chinese population, and we're going to talk about inflation in China. Um, but these are things that give you some context, because that's what we're always looking for, context to get some insights into what the investment markets are doing. So if you stick with gold, you stick with Molly Corp, you stick with Linus Corp, you're going to make a pile of money. And in the meantime, have a super day. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Keep swinging.